Hello, this is Kirsten from the uh, Facebook group Mini Session Inspiration in Photoshop Education. So a few people, I think, wanted to see this edit. Uh, this is my daughter's friend. We had a play date the other day. Uh, my daughter and a couple of her friends needed to dress up in some fun clothes, um, which included my floral halos and maternity gowns. But anyway, um, fur coats and hats. And they just wanted to just be funny and silly and have a great time, lift morale from COVID poopy blues. So totally worked. We cranked some 80s music and we had a blast. Anyway, so this is in ACR. Make sure the link down here says sRGB. It does. If not, you click on it and make sure it does. And then I did a couple things um, over here. I bumped up the whites a little bit, the contrast a little bit, the vibrance a little bit, and then I usually bump up the darks a little bit, um, raising the darkest pixels a smidgy. I don't want to do too much to her because I don't want to affect the background too much. Um, I'm going to leave it at Adobe Color because most of the things that this changes, I even standard. I mean, it's fine. It's so minuscule and I change it in Photoshop anyway. Um, okay, so what I don't want to do, her face is really dark, obviously. I don't want to expose for her face because then it makes the background yucky. And I can fix her face in post. Um, 5700 was my Kelvin uh, off of my Einstein. The light back here, the Einstein was on the my left and my AD200 Pro is on my right for the hair light, which I think looks amazing. I should have taken one without the hair light to show you, but I think it makes the, the whole entire image. I just, I'm obsessed with my hair lights. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a little couple more tweakies. So I want it to look kind of like dark and badass. Okay, there we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and open it. Okay, so I opened both because I feel like I liked her hand better in this one because I liked you know, her nails and it just looked a little bit more natural. Um, in this one, you can't really see her nails and the way she's pinching the hat. I was like, meh. So I like this one better. So what I'm going to do is get my lasso. I could just do her hand, but I think I like the whole placement. I think I like all the things. So I'm gonna just lasso it like that. In the center, right click, layer via copy, move tool up here, and we're gonna just drag it over like that. Okay, then, so obviously her fingers look a little small <laughs> compared to her face. So we are gonna lower the opacity over here to like 50, I guess. Then with the move tool, you can kind of adjust these, whoops, these sliders, or not sliders, but whatever you call them. I'm just going to kind of line up, there we go, the hat, the hand, all the things. There we go. That's probably perfect. Then we're going to raise the opacity back to 100. And now we just have to um, blend in a little bit. So the last time I did this, I opened them both with the same settings. Um, this time I tweaked a little bit, and now it doesn't blend perfectly which is kind of annoying, but that's okay. So what we're gonna do is click on a layer mask, which is white, get a brush, which is black. And you want it nice and soft, all the way less hard. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Ugh. Okay, we want a black brush. Sorry, white layer mask means black brush. So hit X until, oops, it's black. Okay. I'm not going to worry about this inside here because we're going to tweak that anyway. Then hit X to make it white, because you can see I made a little boo-boo over here. <laughs> That's 
that's good. And then hit X again. Just to whoop, make sure there's no halos or anything. Okay, let's just go on and off. So I actually like her original hair. <laughs> so I'm going to go, I said I was going to ignore that, but I'm not going to ignore it because I like the craziness of her hair in the original. Whoops, hang on a second. I'm painting, getting ahead of myself here. There we go. Okay, now let's see what that looks like. Whoops. Let's see what that looks like. All right, that looks good to me. So I'm going to go ahead and flatten it. Okay, so now we have her just so. So I'm going to click on the spot healing brush tool because that one, just the one, two pieces of hair that are bugging me. I do, I wanted it wild. My daughter had the blow dryer on her hair. And I do obviously want it blowing, but a couple of these crooked hairs are just making me a little nuts. I like that one. Perfect. Okay, so to get rid of my hair light here, because obviously it, oh my gosh, it was a little out of control. So there's a few different ways I can do it, but I think what I'm gonna do is take the lasso tool Circle it, hit backspace, content aware, and OK. That looks good. Um, there is a blue tint, and I know there's supposed to be light coming in and whatever, but I'm not sure I love it. So I'm going to do Control J. I'm just going to get a paintbrush, lower it to like 50 something. I stopped trying to be accurate because it was making me nuts. I'm going to sample a color really close to her hat. Then I'm going to sample down here a little bit. Just go like that. Um, I want that to blend. Well, now we're getting a halo. Maybe I can... Actually, we're going to take care of that anyway, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. I'm going to leave it just like that, lower the opacity down, and I'm going to go ahead and flatten it. Okay, so next, let's tackle her eyes, lips, skin. She's absolutely beautiful, but I get not wanting to have blemishes in the picture. So I am going, I am just starting out with getting rid of some of the more contrasty um, red to peach colors. I'm just using the spot healing. Oop, is that a piece of hair? Some blowing hair is okay, but when it, go when it gets too much There we go, that looks good. So I have my hand on the bracket key, which makes this bigger and littler. You want it the, as small as you can get away with, so it doesn't, so it looks more natural, I guess. I think, whoops, I think that's a freckle, but. I think that was a little blemish right there. I think I liquefied it last time, but it's fine. Okay, I know it's boring watching someone clone like that, but 
Okay, so I'm going to take a break from the skin and do the eyes after I get this one little piece of glitter. There we go. Wonderful. Okay, so the eye action that I've been obsessed with, that I love a lot, is from Summerana eye essentials and I click on the don't be late eye essentials because it's all of the essentials in one click instead of going through all the things so I'm just gonna go ahead and play this then you click a nice pretty pink under her eye like right here Okay, so it's a black mask, which means you get a white brush. Let's go back up to 100% here. Just kind of just click a little bit, get the under the under the eye. Kind of just give that a little boost. Okay, luminous eyes. Again, you get a white brush. Make sure not to get it on the eyelid. And if you do, you just hit X and paint it off. Okay, now eyes that are too white or too bright are no good. So I'm gonna go from uh, 40 to like 20. Then go down, awakening. Just kind of do that a little bit closer to the iris. White in the eyes, I always skip because her eyes are pretty white. Boost eye color. Let's go ahead. She has hazel eyes, so that'd be pretty. Boost fill light. I'm going to do that but I'm going to add it like around the whole eye socket because the hat was making it well, I guess I'll keep it at 100, and I'll show you. Okay, so obviously that looks terrible, right? But you would just lower the opacity to, like, let's try 11. Yep, just to brighten it up a smidgey smidge. Um, her catch lights look fine. Her eyebrows are fine. Glare from glasses, nothing. Okay, now did you know you can collapse the, collapse the action, right? So you can do two things. One, you can lower the opacity of just the whole action in general, right? But did you also know that you can put a layer mask on the whole action and then, let's get the, if we went to like 30%, or actually even better, click on the layer mask Control I hides everything we just did, right? Hides everything we just did. Get a hit X, get a white brush. And we can paint on what we just did. Of course, we affected even more. So let's go like that. Then you can also lower the opacity as needed. I didn't change much because I already did everything that I liked, but it just shows that you can put a layer mask on the collapsed actions and address them as a whole. Okay, all good. Um, another little trick I just learned was if you double click on the hand, just brings it back to full real quick. So again, I'm gonna do, okay. It's very subtle, but it, I think it really just makes the, makes the image, I love it. Okay, so in the image that I posted, on Facebook, I went and cleaned up her hat with the, um, again, the spot healing. I did all the little fuzzies. I am not gonna do that now, but I think I see a boo-boo on her thumbnail. See right in through here, I was sloppy. So I'm gonna go ahead. Ooh, I see a few places. Don't be like Kirsten. because I was rushing. The one I posted yesterday, obviously, is flawless. Whoops. 
So I'm just using the clone and I'm sampling and just tidying it up a little bit where we get that ghosting. My bad. That didn't look very good. Let's try that again. And then I don't even know. A piece of string or something. I mean, from a distance, you're not going to be able to see this at all, but. Okay, that looks fine. Okay, so let's deal with her skin real quick. Now that her eyes look fantastic, let's collapse this. Okay, so. I've been really digging Pro Retouch V2 by Totally Rad, their Magic Eraser, which normally I do acne on newborns, but acne is acne. Okay, let's show you a little before and after here. Okay, so zoom in on just the skin. It's a black mask, so we're going to get a white brush, 100% normal. Now, we're only going to really go where we have to go. Because I don't like remo removing pores, I'll be honest. I want her to still look human. So avoid the creases, like the Cupid's bow right here. You want to just very carefully, and I'm going to lower the opacity in a, in a second here. I did another tutorial using it on a newborn if you wanted to see what it how it works on a newborn. So before and after, but I am gonna go down to like fifty percent maybe. All right, I'm gonna leave that and I'm gonna try deblotch medium is my other favorite. Let's see if I can run this. Yeah. Okay, so same thing. Black layer mask, white brush. Sometimes I love it and sometimes I don't. I do like what it's doing up here, but not necessarily here, I don't think. Let's look a little. Yep, that definitely makes it look smoother. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that. I'm going to leave the texture in her skin um, because that's her skin. I might zoom in a little bit and just um, maybe dodge and burn the shadows a smidge, but I do like the way it looks like skin. Okay, so another action I love, and you can do all this by hand, but um, if you find something you love, I say, go for it. But Florabella, back in the old 90s, right? Florabella Retouch and Makeover. Um, she has a lips and cheeks, but I love the lip color. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So rosy lips, get a white brush. She's got beautiful, full pouty lips, which I love. And then let's lower this to like 
thirty. I love it. Okay, so this little black where her lip didn't quite close, um, I want to deal with. Now, people are saying that um, Liquify has been a little bit, whoops, I'm clicking, double clicking on the wrong thing, um, that uh, Liquify has been a little bit poopy lately, um, slow and yucky. So one thing I saw on a tutorial, um, I want to give it a try. It's the rectangular marquee. I think what they did was they just highlighted what they wanted to liquefy, which is her lips, and then went, whoops, filter, liquefy. Let's see if it really, maybe I misunderstood. Oh, I didn't misunderstand. Okay, so it just brings in the lips, and they said that maybe it would be less glitchy since you're just working on a small, um, you know, portion of the picture at a time. So we're going to get the freeze, freeze tool here. And we're just going to freeze because we don't want to push down the top and push down the bottom lip. So we just want to freeze this one little piece. Um, Liquify is still being really kind of slow and laggy with the update, I have to say. I love updates. I don't love slow and laggy. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and get the top forward warp tool. Let's just see if we can make this look natural here. I just want to close that gap. All right, now let's get the thaw. I'm gonna have to deal with it. P is before and after. Hmm, I'm gonna get the, I might need to do a little bit of cloning here. Now, because this image is a little bit kind of like fantasy-like, I'm just going to exaggerate just a little tiny bit. I mean, like millimeters. OK. You can hit P before, after. Hit OK. Control D is deselect. That actually, that little crack does not bother me at all. However, let's just get the clone. Sample that. Beautiful. I love it so far. Okay, so I think one of the last things I did, you know what? I think it looks a little overall blue, honestly. So I'm gonna go to the adjustments, curves. Let's click on blue click on the finger right here. And I feel like, I could be wrong, but maybe my eyes are playing tricks on me. I feel like, and then play around. I think with the red, and then click on the hand. Okay. So I like what that does to her skin. So I'm going to hit control I to inverse it off the whole image, get a white brush, and I'm just gonna I'll show you the before and after. Okay. All right, that just adds a little bit of red. 
to her skin, which I like. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and, whoops, and flatten. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, click on the, so right click on the rectangular marquee and click the elliptical marquee. I have my feather at 700 and I'm just gonna highlight kind of like, like that. Then Control Shift I, Control J, puts the outer area onto a separate layer. On the separate layer, we're gonna go ahead and I try a couple different ones. Um, we can try like multiply, I think looks super awesome. Sometimes overlay looks good, but this time I like multiply actually. So I'm gonna just select multiply. So it just darkens the very edges of the picture, but makes it look like there's a spotlight behind her, which I love. Then uh, put a layer mask on that because we want to make sure it did not get on her fingers and you can see it got on her hair down here. Um, so it's a white layer mask. Click on the paintbrush, click X to make it black. And then small. I just want to get it off her skin. I'm going to leave it on the jacket. I think it looks fine on the jacket and the hat, we'll leave the hat too. And then let's see what happens with her hair. Be careful, don't go too far out because you'll get like a weird halo. You don't want that. Okay, I think that looks friggin' awesome. So this is the after. I'm gonna go ahead and stop now. This is the after and that's the before. Similar, I mean, you know, before-ish. Before, after. Okay, I hope you learned at least one new thing.